Hey, um, my name is Christian Thrillkill. I live in Dallas, Texas. I've lived over the United States. I live in New Orleans. I live in San Antonio. I lived in Miami. And my whole life, up until the Trump presidency, I was a Republican. I started volunteering for the GOP when I was a child on Bush's second presidential campaign in 2004. I volunteered for McCain. I volunteered for Romney. I worked on the gubernatorial races for Governor Abbott both times. I worked at the George W. Bush Center with their Human Freedom Initiative. I spent time with my college Republicans. I wrote op-eds. I studied political science as a major with the goal of going into the presidential race in 2016 to start my professional career in politics. And that all changed when Donald Trump became the nominee. Um, in 2016, I supported Rubio. He's another Cuban-American like me. He was my senator when I was a kid. I knew him. I trusted him. That trust has gone thoroughly unrewarded in the subsequent years since 2016. I did not vote for Donald Trump in 2016. In fact, um, when I was a student at SMU, I was part of a group panel on CNN on the, during the Texas primaries, and I said out loud in a room full of Republicans, I would vote for Hillary Clinton over Donald Trump because I didn't trust Donald Trump with the nuclear codes. He seemed unstable. He seemed immature. He seemed like he had no grasp of foreign policy or domestic policy. He had pulled out full-page ads on teenage kids calling for the death penalty. What sane person would vote for that? What sane person would vote for a man who denigrated the patriotism and heroism of POWs like John McCain, the same man we elected to the presidential nomination in 2008? And so for me, it was a simple question of, I am a 21, 22-year-old man, and I can see that as much as I wasn't a fan of Hillary or Democrats in general, that one was a serious, competent person who we could trust with our democracy and our military, and one was a cartoonish buffoon. And so... Um, the way my politics has changed since 2016 is just seeing how fundamentally lacking in character the vast majority of our elected Republicans are. They're scared to stand up for conservative principles against Donald Trump. They let a sexual abuser rewrite our entire policy platform. They've embraced nativism. They've embraced dog whistles to the alt-right and the KKK and the Nazis in Charlottesville. They've sided with the Russians in Helsinki. They've sided against um, the our international interests in China, started trade wars which wrecked our economy, defunded our pandemic response during the coronavirus crisis. All these things point to a party that's not interested in governing and making sure our nation is safe, secure, and prosperous, but one that is focused only on re-electing themselves and staying within the cult of Trump in order to preserve their political careers because they know young voters like me will never, ever vote for someone who showed a fundamental lack of courage and character during 2016 to 2020. And so in 2020, I'm supporting Joe Biden. Joe Biden, throughout his career, even if I didn't like his policies, showed a fundamental empathy and a fundamental respect for the dignity of his fellow person and his fellow man, his fellow woman, black, white, working class, rich, and he cares and he tries. He doesn't always succeed, of course, no one politician does, but you can tell he's a man who actually wants to work for the betterment of his country. And we can't take another four years of Trump. We can't take Charlottesville. We can't take El Paso. We can't take no more George Floyds or Ahmed Aubrey's or Botham Jeans. We can't take four more years of when the looting starts, the shooting starts. None of that can be acceptable for another four years because if it does, this is a fundamentally different country than the one that my mother and my father immigrated to in the 60s. It's a fundamentally different country than the one that taught American exceptionalism and gave my family a chance to succeed and prosper 
where others haven't gotten the same opportunity. And so in 2020, I will be standing up for the rule of law and I'll be voting for Joe Biden.